Hey, so this is the second time I'm doing this. It's pretty interesting, kind of like it. So we're going to talk about the second act. And going back to the beginning, as you can see, you know, very obvious. Da -da -da. Two, three, one. So the largest and most of the film happens here. And let's look at how I usually view these things and I'll put this up on the screen and you can read this as well so the beginning of act two is there's many points and going back to those three points that I was telling you in the previous video those three points right here it would be here's the beginning of the second act the end of the second act it would be one See the, so right now what we're going to be reading is this point right here and to help you you know I compiled this from many sources and so let's look at it let's read this <clears throat> so that point that first point progress identity versus essence or fake self or lie or ghost versus real self the truth number three progress dash identity versus essence or fake self lie slash ghost versus real self or truth now with their new goal and have formulated a plan on how to achieve their desire or goals meaning they took this risk you know they jumped into the second act they moved forward pursuing that goal their old life they're kind of still in their old life and it's not fully gone so you'll see remnants of it you'll see them kind of going back and forth waning they're still going forward but they're kind of seeing this new world and everything about it new characters introduced like in the matrix they meet the crew and everything like that morpheus explains things he takes you know these download classes and all those other aspects so it's new and beautiful and terrifying and everything all at once and usually if you go back to the visual in between there's usually three major points or four so it's like this you have a major one here a major one here there's this here but then this is another major one so it's one two this one here this one here and climax here these are like major decision points and they're usually usually single scenes you know what I mean and since we're dealing with the second act this first one, if you want to call it number three, number three right here is a group of scenes, essentially, if you want to plot it out. Usually the midpoint is one scene, and then it goes back to a bunch of scenes, and then it goes into one scene, which is usually, it's like, da 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 yay, and then it crashes down. Because usually, what happens usually here is like, all hope is lost, and I'm trying to think of usually in this case all hope is lost is morpheus has been captured here you know cypher all of this was like neo opens up etc etc he's feeling good all of a sudden you know morpheus is captured here cypher betrays him you can it, you kind of set up cypher here like in this first act you see him and then you get to understand him and then he kind of does this sneaky thing around here and then that leads to this all hope is lost aspect because Neo wants to get into the Matrix and understand it, whereas, whereas Cypher, you know, wants to get out of it. So, looking at number three here, it's a bunch of scenes. Like I said, it depends on what you're trying to do, whatever. It doesn't, nothing's specific, but it's all about your, you know, how you want this to go. But typically, this is how I outline my plot and things like that. So, a bunch of scenes, one scene. In between these are usually like a bunch of scenes. But usually this one is closer to essentially the end of act break, really. Because I'm not going to really get into this one right here, but this leads into this. They all lead into each other. I'll put this up also if you guys want it as well. And going back, if I look at further down to the midpoint you can essentially look at that as well it's the point of no return so essentially 
it's where the character opens up, have sex, etc., etc., all these things. And if you want to pause, you can pause there and read that. It's not structured because this is the way I wrote it and put it together and the way I understood it. But it honestly helps. And no matter what film or show, you you can really use this. And it always works, honestly. So it's it's knowing the rules and knowing when to bend them. So once you know the rules, you can bend them. And this is bending the rules. And there's different styles. Like some people have the story wheel or everything like that. The story wheel didn't really click in my mind as well. Like I understood it, but it, it didn't. It didn't do. It didn't work for me. So this is how I do things. So this is the midpoint. And as you can see, they once they pass this point, they have to commit. And once they start committing, all their hopes are good. Da, da, da. Once they get to here, essentially, it's all hell. And if you start reading that point, there's another point in between, yes, but uh, that's for another video. But when you look at the last or the all hope is lost point, it's, you know, major point, major setbacks, you know, destroys all hope. Going back to all of this, you can start to see that this structure, at least the way I look at it, the structure is obviously not new but for me it helped me greatly because it helped me compile all these ideas and that were all over the place here and here and then it goes back here and here or too much backstory etc etc it kept me clean and narrowed and focused to get to this ending point here but also there's many layers to this it's this is just plot structure this is just the skeleton but there's other things like that i'll get into other videos like theme that are very important that kind of branch off into different things that inform the whole vibe and on top of that there's the arc itself you know there's the negative arc there's the positive arc there's the positive change arc there's there's different things and it also changes the way your character chooses which and not chooses but like the ending that they get that you want them to have to be more realistic or you know the style of the story you're trying to tell what do you want it to be at the end but it always starts here this is the guts you have to have a point of no return here typically all hope is lost here in some form and they have to rally up again yeah and i will do a quick third act in the next video all right if you want more information or any questions just put it in the comments below all right till next time peace